We are coming to you live from Tombstone, Arizona. It's sold out Chimera Stadium. This is global warming at its finest, folks. It's a scorching 116 degrees today, but thankfully, it's a dry heat. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Blitzburg Steelheads battle. The Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? Am I? I love MILFs. Mutants I'd like to fuck. He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team. What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all. Ho-ho! Oh, Va-va-va-boom! And it's first and ten. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And that'll be second down and four. Third down and eight. up a two <laughs> well here comes the punting unit you know punters really do know how to party bricks yeah what are you trying to impress your third fan base to bring him into the game and no return on this pump the defense will just down it i can't tell if he's smart or scared either way the ball is down and it's first and ten Second down and more than the QB would like. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. First and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback's balls right there. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. He just got crushed. Third down and five. Take 
Oh, you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. down and it's first and ten and the defense holds that pass play to only two yards and that'll be second and eight to go Officially sanctioned NFL rule. <laughs> Third down and long, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. for a yard. Second down and two. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. Second down and two. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First.
first and ten. The defense didn't give an inch. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. I personally think the ginormous guy is compensating for something. Oh, he fumbled that one. Everyone loves being on the highlight reel, leaping over a defender, but sometimes you get hit hard and have the ball knocked loose. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. First and ten. The cornerback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm grip. That cross stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Wow, he got mugged. More like a mafia hit. And it's first and ten. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. Second down and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. I was killing a civil. I am a hell of a fellow. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Pow! With the brain scrambler! <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a life expectancy. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. Catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Dirt 
sandwich. Hey, man, I was hanging on the now. You all have. <laughs> And it's first and ten. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. Second down and long. to hold on to a ball when your brain, heart, and central nervous system stop functioning. So I can't really blame this guy for the fumble. Third down and, well, good luck. Offense is rolling. Margaret, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in. We're at the two minute warning and we'll take a quick timeout. Well, will you tell the interns to get us some Franken dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, wish they could pee for me, too. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. It's a six-yard gain. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two, hot the defense better look out. The offense. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third way. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Third and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot eight. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. They use their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll bring up... And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. And same as Brits' ex girl Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Big 
goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Satan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Catch that. Second down and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. needs a miracle. a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got you playing cards. Pow! With the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy game. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Hot, hot one. Hot two, hot three. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. How do you miss a bomb kill right in someone's face? This your first time playing the game? Hey, you with the controller in your hand. I'm talking to you. Second down and ten. Hot, hot 
One, hot two, hot. trick that'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently you snooze you lose unless you're in a sleeping contest and it's first and ten hot hot one hot two hot, hot. And Rubbers with a crazy pass. look at the path he's taking the field yeah. caught for the first down First down and seven. Now, I'm not sure who he was throwing to on that play. Second down and seven. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. Second down and a lot. First down and five. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, win. They save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. To the races. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. I 
got a sub up right on this asshole. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. You know, back in the day when you scored a touchdown, you acted like a man, not some chorus girl. That's right. You leapt up into the stands and murdered some big mouths who have been taunting you. I got that right. Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I'm on. Get on out. Get on. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. <laughs> that's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's a sick... Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Third down, and the punter is warming up. If they don't... Timeout number one for the offense. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Pow! With the brain scrambler! First and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. In a hurry-up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. Yeah. 
Second down in a very lot. Third down and, well, good luck. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and a perfect strike for a first down. That's a hell of a fourth down play. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, you see that boo, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm not too fast. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure battle. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. A pickup of about three on that play. Second down and seven. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. He's not going down. Yeah. 
The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Well, that play didn't work. He'll have to rethink that. Second down and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback got... And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run! Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Say what? Come on, man, you can't hit with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but... This guy could blow it. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And like bricks his bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's a pass and catch for no gain. Then how is it a pass? Second down and... And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Brits' ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a... He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. Usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up too? Rip, can I kill him? No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and eight to go. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Nobody 
with your tutu and eyeball, I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. That's right, folks. It's all tied up, and we are headed to overtime. I don't know how many players are left alive, but the rest are headed to sudden death. They should call this game Mutant Death League. Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores... Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. second there second down and ten is important. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Second down and ten. Just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. First and two. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah, 
The Sins come away with a sinful win. That was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls dancing on a pole or something. Girls, win. I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Call me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Girls. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.